Avatar of Wrath, go brr. Pretty, pretty simple. Hello gamers, my name is KK and in this video we will try to complete Blue Narius with Magic Monkeys only. There is a game mode in BTD6 that prohibits every other tower category from you to use them and here we will roleplay that we don't have any other towers except the hero and the magic monkeys only. Even though magics are the strongest class of, he of towers in the game, still it's a pretty big stretch to say that you can solo the Blunarius with it. But surprisingly enough, this was very very interesting and we uh, will see at the end of this video that the results are pretty darn unexpected. I never thought that magic mongoose would be so strong and useful in different scenarios. So, Blunarius uh, on the normal d difficulty is like not the biggest challenge that you will face in this game, but it's still a challenge nonetheless. And since we don't have any farming, we don't have any kind of eco, it's except the alchemist, this becomes a fucking crucible, because you need a lot of cash to get rid of the Blunaris. If we had a lot of cash, of course, of course we would destroy it, no problem, but we don't. Ex that's one exception. Well, the only thing that we have is Obin and Magic Towers. The reason I picked Obin is because he buffs the Magic Monkeys and it will play a crucial role. So, we had five challenges ahead of us. The first one was, of course, the um, Tier 1 Blunarius. And I thought, okay, what can destroy tier 1 Blunarius? This fucker has 20,000 HP. Magic monkeys are good, but they are not nearly as good as killing 20k HP. What magic monkey can possibly kill that much? The answer is maybe. I didn't know at the time, but the answer could be Arcane Spike. Since this is the Blunaris where we had easy game mode, the Arcane Spike didn't cost us 11,000 like it would in the regular game. And I thought, okay, if it costs 9,000 something, why not try to save up for the Arcane Spike? That's a really solid upgrade that not only can deal huge damage to the Blunaris itself, but it can also uh, do the good job of cleaning up the ceramics that it spits out. Also, keep in mind and look at the wizard right now. I intentionally upgraded it to 320, not 302, because we don't need camo. Uh, we can destroy camo with the ninja or just leak it, because why not? We don't really need it. Or opens brambles. Um, so camo is not a big deal, but the what is a big deal is, of course, the money that we need for the arcane spike. Also, Wall of Fire. Wall of Fire is a really good upgrade that deals in this upgrade path 15 damage per second. So it's a really good ceramic buster, pretty much. Um, the 3 to 0 wizard is much better. So in my plan was to put the uh, Shimmer Wizard in the beginning of the map so that we can de-camo all the balloons and the Arcane Spike or the Tier 3 Wizard at this stage will catch them and thus we will be able to deal much more damage using the Wall of Fire. As you can see we are almost there like it's we can barely scratch enough money but yes we afford, afford the Arcane Spike and this is where the action starts. So at first, it seems like uh, it's not going to be a very big deal, but uh, I forgot that Blunaris vomits the green balloons on this tier, and we need to clean them up somehow, and Arcane Spike is not the best for this job. Okay, I also upgraded the uh, Ninja in order to clean up the camos from the round 42. As you can see, Arcane Spike does okay job. It's not like omnipotent, but it's not bad either. Uh, I also place the wall of fire in order to catch the balloons and trying to deal extra damage to the ceramics that it spawns uh, because without that we are pretty much dead. And as you can see, I still needed to restart so that I can get more of these wizards. The placement of those 
is very important and <clears throat> Okay, let's not count this, because uh, this was the test run and we finally know what we need to deal with. So, we figured that Arcane Spike can deal with the Blunaris, it has enough DPS for this. Second, we know that we need Ninja for round 42. Third, we need a few walls of fire in order to prevent the ceramics from leaking. Or there is another more expensive way of dealing with this, uh, which is the... How is it called? The Necromancer. Necromancer is pretty solid against the ceramics. And I also decided to have the Ninja Alk combination, as you can see. I upgraded the Blunjitsu to Ninja to Blunjitsu tier 4, and thus we are able to have really good peers and annihilate the ceramics. This is the evolution of our strategy. Okay, but what next? Now we have the tier 2 Blunaris, which has more than double of HP of the previous tier. And the further we go, the worse it becomes. And we need to think, and we need to think hard in order to deal with this challenge. So my idea was, okay, what can deal twice, not the twice, three times as much damage and still clean up the ceramics? I'm giving you some time to think. Yes, it is the Archmage, the Grand Wizard, uh, tier 5. And we will upgrade, or we will at least try to upgrade the uh, Benamara Wizard to the Archmage. Because this guy has a lot of awesome properties. Uh, Archmage can attack with magic, fire, he spawns walls of fire, and he also has the shimmer effects so that he decamels everything that is near him. Although it's not the best shimmer effect, but it's a good shimmer nonetheless. And we barely have enough cash for this one as well. And with Archmage I'm pretty confident and we can chill for a bit because uh, this time we should not struggle that much. I also upgraded the tier 4 alchemist near the Archmage and now as you can see uh, he shreds pretty convincingly through this guy. Uh, it's bad that we have the purples. Purples actually suck up the damage of this guy quite significantly but uh, we will be just fine. Okay, he already destroyed the one-third of HP and <laughs> ceramics are just non-existent. And we are already preparing for the tier 3. Tier 3 has quite a lot of um, HP, I think it's around 300,000. And we need to enhance our DPS even further by... how much? By five times. <laughs> so it's not the easiest task. Uh, and I also thought we need some eco, so I placed the lead to gold alchemist on the top left, as, as you can see, and this guy bring, give, gives us some cash from the lead, so each time he hits the lead balloons, he gives us $50. Uh, pretty profitable if you place him in the right time, but what you really want to have is in the magic on monkeys only. A few rubber to gold alchemists, ideally it's three or two or three. I would say 3 is better, and puts them on strong targeting priority. This way you will make at least, like, if you place them early on, maybe like in 60s, you will make in total, I would say at least 10 to 15 thousand dollars profit from them after you sell them. So that's a pretty good deal and you don't need to worry that much about it. They help you with the ceramics and they make all the balloons they hit more valuable when you pop them. Okay, so what's next? Tier 3. Five times as scary as the previous one. Uh, I really, at this point, I really wish I had the alchemists placed much earlier because I didn't know that we would d destroy tier 2 uh, Blunaris that easily and I thought okay I need to prepare and I really did over prepare so if we had them a bit earlier it would be easier for us to play but now the tier 3 I had a plan I thought initially that I can use one of two strategies. First one is the Archmage and the second one is the Avatar of Wrath. Avatar of Wrath is 
ridiculously good against the Blunaris because he uses his passive damage increase and he deals maximum damage against the Blunarius constantly and his attack speed increases further as he deals damage. So it was the no-brainer and I thought okay, but will I be able to afford it? He can't pop less, he has so many weaknesses and we afforded it just in time before the tier 3, which which has 350,000 instead of 300,000. I thought I I remembered it. Okay, regardless, it's a lot. It's five, seven times more than Bad Bloon, just for the reference. So I this time I upgrade the, the Avatar of Wrath and five pop lasts that buff him further. And as you can see, the, in the on the pond there is a bug, uh, which uh, I paid 1k to remove the uh, rock, but it still uh, says to me like I as if I could rem remove the pond itself. And now we add some more alchemists three zero one, and as you can see. <laughs> Avatar of Wrath go brr, pre pretty simple and it destroys pretty much everything, no problemo. So, for now we chill, but what fucking next? Because the tier 4 Blunarius is much scarier than tier 3, it has, I'm pretty sure, 750,000. And he, it's time to have some big guns on the map and thing is, we already have them, and that's the big problem. Uh, I thought, okay, what's the next strongest tower after the Avatar of Wrath and the Archmage? And yes, it is the Wizard Lord Phoenix. And we finally have the uh, level 10 open by round freaking 91. So, we are saving up for the Wizard Lord Phoenix. And as you can see, money is not a big problem for us at this stage. Uh, we can't afford the Super Monkeys, of course, because they are too expensive, but what we can do is we can uh, afford the Wizard Lord Phoenix, which is very strong. Uh, once I use it, his ability, you will see. And now I'm thinking, okay, what else can I use that is cheap and can destroy the uh, blimps? And the truth is that the only good tower against blimps that we can use is... For, or first, we will use the uh, transforming tonics or like the... How is it called? Con Unstable concoction. Yeah, this is the name of the upgrade. Regardless, I added a few more alchemists to the druids so that they have more pierce and deal more damage. I upgraded the... Uh, Archmage, and this was my plan for the tier 3, um, or tier, no, tier 4. Uh, other than this run, I never tried to go with the Magic Monkeys only for the very late game, and it was very new to me to experiment with those towers. And here I placed the Master Bomber. We almost have enough cash for him, and I thought, okay, generally, Master Bomber is shit, but we are not playing in the general game, we are playing in the freaking Blunaria, so what if I upgrade him? And as you can see on the health bar, he did not disappoint. I really do think that Master Bomber delivers uh, based on his price, he deals 4000 damage with each bomb, even though I would speed him up two times to make him useful in the regular game, in this scenario it works out just fine. I placed the Master Bomber, I put him on strong, and he did some real work for us. As you can see, Druids also clutch, because we uh, clean up the Moabs and the Ceramics, mainly using the Avatar of Wrath. And here, the end game stuff coming. I upgrade the ne Necromancer in order to clean up the uh, Ceramics, because as you can see, it's getting far too close for comfort. And I also thought, okay, Pretty much at this stage I have every high DPS tower that I can get. And it's not like we are getting much more money from this point on. So I thought Avatar of Wrath is good, but I want to have the Prince of Darkness for the cleanup. And here, look at my timing, it's just uh, gorgeous. Uh, we are very close, but the Phoenix was able to clean up every leaks from the Blunarius and we were able to destroy tier 4 Blunarius. But uh, it looks 
pretty darn hopeless for me right now because okay if we struggled with the tier four so much how are we supposed to deal with tier five and i thought okay i might lose but let's get going until we die so i will fucking persevere until the bitter end and we will do what we can against the tier 5 Blunarians. And now that we're already almost in the uh, tier 5, it's round 118 with 3 bets by the way, I thought, okay, what's the next best DPS tower? Of course, the Sun Avatar. It's relatively cheap in regards to the other towers, so I thought, okay, Sun Avatar it is. 3 million HP. Uh, we have the Pod, we have the Avatar of Wrath, we have the Archmage, we have the uh, Wizard Lord Phoenix, we have the Master Bomber and Sun Avatar with Oban level 20. Can we destroy this guy? And what is the DPS that we need to get rid of 3 million HP? So far it looks not that bad if, you, if we are honest. Look at the health bar. Uh, if Bulnaris was a tad bit slower, I think we would be even better. But for now, we already destroyed 300,000 HP. And it's not looking bad, I would say. Uh, I sold all of my uh, alchemists uh, that bring me money. And this time we are just trying to spam abilities as much as we can. Each high DPS tower that I have on the screen is targeted to str strong so that we can the max damage to the Blunaris, and we are getting closer and closer to the tier one, uh, tier five first woman. Let's call it this way, because and also by the way, as you can see, both Master Bomber and the tier four bom bomber uh, with the ninja, they can work simultaneously, and they have their sticky bombs uh, on the two different sides. And first woman is coming. At this stage, the tier uh, 4 would die, but mm, as you can see, pretty unfortunate, but DDD is murderous. Uh, we were able to destroy 850,000 HP from the tier 5, but unfortunately, the conclusion is that Magic Monkeys only is not enough to destroy the Blunarius and the normal difficulty, even if it's easy, because this is just how it is. We need some eco and some farming if we want to destroy the Blunarius with Magic Monkeys only, and standalone ma Magic Monkeys are not able to destroy it. Okay, guys, press the like or dislike button, depending on what you think about this video. I think it was very interesting. I Myself, I found out a lot of new stuff about this game mode, and if you found any anything interesting or funny for yourself, tell me in the comments, subscribe now and see you in the next one.